was bad enough. But having to watch my staff arguing in front of the customers was ten times worse. But I had to reprimand Chloe. It was her encouraging the dingles that started all the trouble. It wasn't Chloe's idea to give away free drinks. You're both just proving my point. Teamwork is what'll make this place a success. There'll be plenty of time for recriminations later. You both should have been working together to turn this thing around. Some people don't know how to be part of a team. You're supposed to be in charge, Maggie. It's up to you to sort these things out. Rodney. It's your department, your responsibility. But... I don't want to listen to any more excuses. Now, I suggest that you go away and try to put to use the lessons you've learnt when you're planning the next event. Yes, Mr Blackstock. If I could have you for a moment, please, Nicola. I hope you're not going to tear a strip off me, too. On the contrary. I'm really pleased with the way you've been shaping up in the business world. Maybe we could talk about it later. You haven't forgotten you're coming to dinner. Of course not. I'm looking forward to it. Coming to see me? Not really. I needed to think and do that best out here. Even if it does bring back a lot of memories. Yeah. I can just see you and Jackie walking across this field as if it were yesterday. Oh, it's been 12 years, Jack, and a lot's happened to me in between. Do you think me and Jackie would still be together? I wish you were. He was a good lad, really. With you keeping him on the straight and narrow, people would have seen it. What did Annie used to say? If ifs and ands were pots, pots and pans, and <laughs> my life's full of ifs. If Jackie hadn't died, if I hadn't lost the baby, She'd have been off to hot and comp by now. She? Or he. I know what you're thinking, but that's not why Alice means so much to me. I didn't say anything. No, you didn't have to. I've asked myself that question a thousand times, but I took Alice in because she needed a home and I was the only one ready to give it to her. Well, you've certainly given up a lot. I've made a few mistakes in my life, but that's the one thing I wouldn't change. It was worth every moment. Andrew seems to think that you and him... No, he's better off without me. I know it's not going to be easy in Australia, but I'm determined to try and get along with Elsa. At least that way I'll be able to watch Alice grow up, finish what started, and always be there for her when she needs me. You've had a lucky escape and I hope you've learnt your lesson. Ray Mullen's dangerous, and I want you to stay away from him in future. We don't know that, ma'am. Trouble is, you don't want to know it. As long as he gets his renting on time, there's no need for him to bother us. Life ain't like that, Danny. Where he sees it, he's done us a favour, and he can call that favour in at any time. You think we ought to move out? Well, at least he wouldn't have any hold over us. What are you two talking about? Mum reckons we might have to find somewhere else to live. Oh, does she? And how come neither of you bothered to find out how I felt about this? Or oh, don't my opinion count for anything? So that's the reply we got from the council. It's not worth the paper it's written on, trying to fob us off with excuses. Oh, what did you expect? I expected some action after that meeting. There are elected representatives. They're supposed to have our interests at heart. I'm surprised someone still trusts in politicians at your age, Edna. It's like still believing in fairies. That's a very cynical attitude, Mr Orp. We should all believe in the democratic process. I'm sure Mrs Orp does. She stood for councillor herself. Ah, in fact, lots of good that did her. You saw the petition? That's how the locals feel. They've got to take notice of that. Yeah, but that's not the way it works, my love. You're up against big business here. They'll be employing someone to lobby the councillors and the like. You've got no one to speak for you. But we can't afford to pay somebody to do that. We already have. Our community charge pays for the likes of Pollard to sit around at council meetings. Well, it's time he started doing something for us. It's a bit first time since he were elected. Dead right. All those promises just melted away as soon as he got crosses on that ballot paper. And I hope people remember that next time. If he doesn't start supporting us, 
We'll have to remind them. Yeah, well, don't go too heavy on him. He is my boss, remember? I don't want him taking out on me. He wouldn't dare. I can be very persuasive when I put my mind to it. Interested? Huh. I've sank everything I could raise into the holiday centre. It'll be a while before I can afford any more property. You'll have no problem shifting this, sir. That's what the estate agent said. Plenty of people looking for weekend cottages in the Dales. Suppose I should feel a bit guilty. Huh? Well, there's people in the village worried their kids won't be able to afford to live here. Those sort of buyers pricing them out. Well, you can't fight market economics. Ah, uh, shame all on. I've just been going through the books. We're still losing money. Heavily. I think we should uh, close it down. Yes, I know. Have you spoken to Marlon? Not yet. I'll give him a ring. See you in the wolf pack about 2.30. Fine. You reckon Ray's some kind of big town villain? Well, he got pretty nasty when I mentioned police. So? We stay out of his business and he'll stay out of ours. It isn't that simple. It is to me. Get real, Mum. We can't afford to be picky about who we deal with. We're lucky to have this house. Have you forgotten how hard it was for us to find somewhere to live? Of course not, but it's Me not... and Kirk are settled. We want to stay. I like it in the village. We've got friends here. And if turning a blind eye to whatever it is that Ray Mullen's up to, then I reckon it's worth it. She's got a point, you know, Mum. Oh. We'll have a really good night. Doesn't sound like my idea of fun. Mum, Dad's just trying to put things right. Maybe it's gone beyond that. But we'll never know if we don't try. You know I hate to see my daughters feuding like this. Surely you can understand that? I suppose so. I'm sure if we all make the effort, we can at least start to be friends again. You really ought to give it a try, Diane. Please, Mum. <sighs> Have you been avoiding me? Well, why would I want to do that? Well, our conversation the other day. I gave you a job to do and you gave it to somebody else. Well, I was uh, testing the lad out for you. Seeing what it was made of. Oh, well, that was a big mistake. He got picked up by the police. Luckily, he's got more bottle than you and didn't say anything. So there's no harm done, then? No harm done. No harm. I've had to change all my plans because of you. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Mullen. <laughs> Don't let it happen again. You've been hunting? <laughs> Very funny. I've uh, just been doing a bit of buying. Conning some poor old age pensioner out of a family heirloom, no doubt. Oh, I'm sorry, ladies. Did you wish to purchase anything? Like a broomstick apiece, perhaps? We're here to insist that you do your duty as a member of Hotton District Council. You've seen the petition, and you know that local opinion is totally against the phone mast, so now we're looking to you to do something about it. Uh, in cases like this, one has to weigh up the economic benefits. Meaning? Meaning I have to ask, what's in it for me? <laughs> I mean, the village. There are so many arguments for and against, I've decided to let democracy take its course. So what are you going to do? Nothing. Hey, your Christmas grotto is going to ruin our off-licence sales. I mean, we try to sell cheap, but we can't give it away. Did get a bit out of hand. Have you been in trouble? Well, of course not. Dad didn't blame me. I'm like he was supposed to be in charge. Oh, I thought the free drinks were your idea. She's the manager for the moment. What do you mean? Well, I don't think Dad's going to put up with her mistakes much longer. I think he's been regretting giving her the job for a while now. I thought you were right pleased with her. Oh, she's been taking liberties from the start. She didn't tell him she was going to bring her whole family with her, did she? This could be just the excuse he needs to sack her. It's a bit tough, isn't it? Just before Christmas. Oh, management is all about making tough decisions. And he has got the ideal replacement lined up. Who? Well, me, of course. Maybe you're jumping the gun a bit there. I mean, I know he's your dad, but... Uh, that's got nothing to do with it. It's a business matter. He's asked me over to dinner tonight so we can talk. I think that's when I'll be getting the good news. Your mum's been worried sick about you. 
Well, they're all a misunderstanding. The police will let it go. Yeah? Well, think yourself lucky. I told you, you're all a mistake. The mistake that you've been making is that you've been mixing with the wrong folk. And what's it got to do with you? I happen to respect your mum. And I think she's got enough in her plate without worrying whether you're going to go off the rails. So, let's have no more misunderstandings, eh? Maybe we shouldn't go tonight. You're looking a bit peaky, Bernice. I'm fine. You've got to look after your health at a time like this. You could do with an early night. Mum, you're just trying to get out of going. It's bound to end in a row. Why should we put ourselves through it? Because I want my baby to have a proper family around it when it's born. I'm with Bernice on this one. Yeah, someone's going to make the first move. OK. But I know it'll end in tears. I know you put everything you could into shame, Arnold. Money, time, effort. And you're probably hoping that you still at least get some money back. Unfortunately, the losses were even bigger than we realised, which is why we've decided to close the place down. Obviously, this means you'll lose your initial investment. All of it? Marlon, everyone's lost money through this. Oh, no. That money wasn't just mine, it was Trisha's as well. I'm sure she'll understand. In the circumstances. I doubt it. You don't know what she went through to get that money for me. Mmm, excellent choice of wine. I couldn't have done better myself. Well, we've both had to listen to you pontificating about vineyards long enough. Something was bound to sink in. She's just kidding, Dad. We're both looking forward to a really good evening. Me too. Would you like to take a seat, ladies? We don't meet up enough as a family. We have to try and make this a regular date. Let's see how it goes this time first. Hi, Dad. Oh, what a day. But I'm really looking forward to our chat. What are they doing here? I thought it was time we all sorted out our differences. Forget it. Nicola! Nicola, don't go! Stay there. I want to talk to you. This looks like it's going to be a long night. Look, Mum, I know it's not easy, but you could try and help a bit more. What's the point? She obviously hates you. And quite frankly, I think we'd all be better off without her in our lives. Yes, well, I think we can make it work if we try. It must have gone wrong in your upbringing somewhere. Otherwise, you wouldn't still believe in fairies. I'm sorry. I can't make a decision just like that. I need to talk to them about it first. Yes. I'll let you know. OK, bye. Who is that? Dominic. Trouble. He wants the kids to go and stay with him at Christmas. I said I need to talk to them about it first. Do you want me to call them? Supposing we just didn't mention it. <laughs> we can't do that. He's still their father. I know, but they're just starting to get settled here, and if they go and stay with him, he's going to start bad-mouthing us and putting doubts in their minds and causing trouble. Yeah, and it'll cause a lot more trouble if they find out you've been hiding his call from them. I guess so. Look, I know it's awkward, but you've got to remember that they're here because they love you. Try and hold on to that. Well, I've decided that being a permanent guest has got big advantages, especially when it comes to family meals. <laughs> you don't have to worry about what to cook, not when you've got your own chef to hand. Obviously where we went wrong. Wouldn't have had to worry about your meal burning in the oven when you were hours late home. Yeah, well, I think it's very nice, don't you, Nicola? It's OK. So, how are you settling in at the holiday village? She's doing really well. Definite promotion material. Even after the grotto fiasco? That wasn't my fault. Well, at least you kept your customers happy. That's a secret with the bar. And next time they'll come back and spend more. Exactly. Now, the future looks bright. For all of us, I hope. Well, perhaps we should drink to that. The future. The future. I had a call from your dad. He wants to see you both at Christmas. Great. When can we go? Shut up, Lucy. You OK with that? Oh, it's not really my decision. It's up to you. He's still your father. And we don't want him to be on his own all Christmas. Yeah, but what about Mum? You'll be working all the time anyway. It's not like we're going to see much of you. Oh, we'll be working all the time. Yeah, but it's not going to be much fun for us sitting around waiting for you. I guess Lucy's right. 
You may as well both go. I'll serve up. You know she didn't want us to. She'll get over it. And anyway, I'm not going to be dull out of one set of Christmas presents. Oh, come on, Diane. You've got to admit, we had some good times at the start. You could always make me laugh. I'll give you that. You should have heard the baby names he'd come up with when he knew I was pregnant. If he'd have had his way, you'd have been called Arlo. Arlo? I thought you were going to be a boy. <laughs> he was still going through his pop period. You could have been Dave D. Dozy, Beaky Mick or Titch for all he cared. Mm. I'm glad I didn't get stuck with any of those. Me too. Didn't stop him dragging me around pop concerts when I was eight months gone. You loved every minute of it. You would have thrown your paternity niggers at the lead singer given half a chance. <laughs> I was young, <laughs> carefree. I'm older and wiser now. Can't say I've noticed. Bernice is right, Diane. You'll never change. Is this trip down memory lane going to take all night? Oh, Nicola, I'm sorry. I... Look, we didn't mean to exclude you from anything. I thought we were here to talk about the future, not the past. Yeah, of course. At least you won't have their trouble over baby names. You've got no one to argue with. Two fathers and you've driven them both away. Nicola! Well, I'm sorry, but you said we were here to sort things out and we're not going to do that until we start saying how we really feel. Nicola's right. It's best to be honest. That way we can wipe the slate clean and start again. Of course. That's what I want to. I don't know what to say, Trish. I lost all the money you gave me. When I, when I think how you got it and what it did to us. Sorry, it doesn't seem enough. Maybe that money from Joe was always jinxed. We should have known no good had come of it. I'll try and pay you back. Might take a while, but I put a bit away every week. I'm not bothered about the money, Marlon. It was never really mine to lose. Truth is. I hated it when you were running Shay, Marlon. You always had your nose stuck in the accounts or planning some new business strategy. There was never enough time for us. So I've got more time for each other now. Even if I... Even if I never do make the big time. Oh, I don't care. I'd rather be poor and happy. Wouldn't you? Best offer I've had all day. Doesn't look as if she's taking it too badly. Oh, that's a relief. Means I can try and get everything sorted before I go with a clear conscience. I can't change anything that's happened. We've both lost a lot, but maybe we don't need to lose each other. Maybe. Remember what it was like when we first met up? How pleased we both were to have a sister. I just wish things could get back to how they were. Me too. Well, you've taken the first step. It's always the hardest. Now, coffee for everyone? Oh, not for me, thanks. I've said what I came to say. I better be getting back. I could do with an early night. I'll come with you. No, no, it's OK. You stay here. I don't want to spoil this evening. I'm sure we've got loads more to chat about. Well, I don't know when I've been prouder of my two girls. <laughs> we should do this more often. <laughs> Maybe we could spend Christmas together. What do you think, Diane? You and me decking out the tree just like old times? Maybe we should just take things one step at a time. Nonsense! I'm sure Nicola would be up for it, wouldn't you? After what Benice did to me. I wouldn't spend Christmas with her if you paid me. But you said... You don't understand, do you? I hate her. And I hate you for tricking me into this! Dad? What is it, love? I was just thinking about Craig and Lucy going to see the dad for Christmas. Mm, me too. With Maggie working, it'll be down to us to get everything ready. Tree, decorations, lights. We'll have a lot of fun. Yeah, but I would uh, like to see my mum. I'm not sure that would be a very good idea. But why is it all right for Craig and Lucy and not for me? You know why. She doesn't treat you like a daughter, more like a nurse. It's no life for a girl your age. It'll just be for a few days, just to make sure she's all right. And if she's not, well, that's when emotional blackmail starts. She knows how to manipulate you. She did it to me for years. I feel guilty walking out on her. And that's what she'll play on. Look, I did it for you as much as me, Jess. We need to make a clean break. Don't go back on it now. I just can't believe you thought we were all going to sit around playing happy families. I'm sure he meant it for the best. I can never forgive her for what she did. And if he really cared, he'd feel the same. 
I've had for him. She's his daughter too. <gasps> so you think he cares more about her than me? Of course not. Well, then why didn't he come after me? Well, you're pretty steamed up right now. Maybe he thought it was better to let the dust settle. I won't change my mind, even if I do calm down. I'm not going to pretend to be friends with Bernice and Diane when I hate them! You, you should be telling him all this, not me. What's the point? He's obviously made his choice. I don't matter to him anymore. It's not true, Nicola. He, he loves you more than anyone. You've always been the apple of his eye. Go and talk to him. Give him a chance to tell you how he feels. I'm sure you can make things work out between you. This is a particularly good burgundy. I saved it because I thought we might be celebrating tonight. Still, we can use it to drown our sorrows instead. Doubt if one bottle will be enough. Mm, the way I'm feeling, it'll take a dozen. Oh, God, it was a disaster, wasn't it? Go on. Now's the time you say I told you so. That's not how I feel. Oh, come on, Ronnie, cheer up. Give me one good reason. Because I really admired you tonight. Saw a different side. A man who loves his kids doing everything he can to bring them back together. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> you silly sod. 